A lot of people don't realize that when the 1099-K was introduced a few years ago, the requirements for 1099 miscellaneous reporting actually changed. And so you're no longer supposed to include any payments made by credit cards, debit cards, or other third, pro third party processors um, such as PayPal. So um, I won't try to cover all the details of what is and is not included uh, in those requirements. Um, but my, what I want to do today is show you how in Sage 50 you can exclude um, credit cards, debit cards, and those, uh, those types of payments so that you get the right amount on your 1099. Um, it all comes down to this payment method box that you see here in the, this payments window or it's also uh, present in the right check screen. Um, you just need to pay attention and make sure you're choosing the right payment method uh, with each payment that you enter. If you don't see what you want in the list, you can click this payment method link here. It'll pop open the vendor defaults and you can um, add whatever you need to to this list. You can have up to 20 different payment types. And these can be general or specific. You could have one payment type for credit card if you want or you can split them out. Um, let's add one here for electronic funds transfer. We'll click OK. And now that would show up in our list to choose from. So then when it comes time to do your 1099s, let's take a look at the 1099 vendor report so we can see what's going to show up on our list. And we can see right now it looks like we have two vendors who would get a 1099. If we go to the columns button and we add the column for payment method, we can see that this payment was made by credit card and so should not be included in their 1099 miscellaneous. So let's go back to the options and here in the filters we're going to choose payment method. And now we can select cash, check, and EFT. We'll click OK and now we can see that Daniel Long Pro no longer meets the requirements to get a 1099. So, when you're ready to actually print 1099s, we'll go here to the Forms tab, Tax Forms. We'll choose the Form 1099, 1099 Miscellaneous Preprinted. Hit Preview and Print. And if we hit Refresh, we'll see it's back to showing both vendors. But we've got another filter down here uh, for payment methods. So we'll click on Cash. And then, as it shows right here, you can use Control. Uh, the control key on your keyboard while you're clicking to select multiple payment methods. So hold down control, we'll hit check, and we'll scroll down, control click on EFT. We hit refresh list, and now we see we're back to just the one vendor that we wanted um, you know, for our 1099s. So that's it. That's all there is to it. You just need to make sure you're being careful um, during the year as you're uh, to use the right payment methods and then filter those out when you're ready to do 1099s.